Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today on Hang With Harf, I'm going to show you how I use the holes on my motor mount uh, design to install this crosshair laser. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, first thing I do is I start by shortening up those uh, leads uh, on that laser and we're going to put on a quick disconnect, a little bit of heat shrink tubing there. Uh, we're going to solder the joints and then once I have these joints soldered up, uh, I tend to just use a, uh, a heat gun here to uh, melt that uh, heat shrink tubing and it's on to connect the battery box and the switch with another one of those uh, quick disconnects followed by a little bit of tape uh, to help stiffen that uh, wire up and uh, now we need to create a little channel to uh, get those wires to run flat put a little super glue on it and uh, let that dry and we're ready to hook it up okay so we just got some double stick permanent tape here and we are going to put a little small piece on the back all right now i just need to whoops let's stick this on here now let's peel that part off okay now we'll just come here hmm well, we're going to put another piece on top of a piece on top of a piece because that apparently is small. I'm sure it has to do with the fact that the back has got a recess to it, so we need it, need it thicker than that tape I had was. Let's do that. Push it. Push, 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 push. Okay, now I'm going to cut a really tiny piece. for this guy all right okay so now double side stick tape that right there and then these two just need to come together tuck it like that for the time being and let's see all right so it's crooked that's for sure all right so Okay, so now let's let's try to adjust this. And again, I'm going off of the grid pattern that my machine actually carved in the top of the table here, so that I know it is <laughs> it is exact as can be. Make sure that it's that it is lined up in that grid. Just just a press fit. I'm trying to press it up in there and let's see if I can know that I yeah I'm gonna say that is good that is lined in that right there on that spot just perfect now the only thing I need to do at this point is I need to put a new screen set in my Mach 3 program that will give me a button that I can press a button once I get this lined up to then move the cutter into that position. The only thing that we copied would have been the 1024 M set, which is the one that I used. And I know they've got one called metric, I think, but I used M to stand for modified because uh, it was my modified version of the 1024 set screen set. Um, and then this is my laser zero um, whatever you want to call it, the script. So with that in place, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Mach 3. So once we have Mach 3 opened up, we're going to come over here to the view. We're going to say load screens and we are going to find our modified screen set. So this would be the modified screen set that I created. I'm going to hit open. And there's no image there, which tells me I need to go in here to the Mach 3 mods. I think this file here needs to go into Mach 3 bitmaps. I honest to goodness don't know where. I don't know that it matters. We'll paste it in here. 
and let's try it. Let's uh, view, load screens. We are going to take our modified 1024 screen set and there it is. Hey, that's pretty cool. I, I never use this button up here, whatever it was. And so I just created a new bitmap. I called it laser zero. And then basically if I come here and I go to edit button script, right? You can see these things that are flashing. These are the ones that all have button script that I can change. So if I click on that, this now shows me what my, my script is that I created. And again, it, it's no, nothing real fancy. Uh, and there may be a little bit of trial and error, but basically what I um, measured is three inches from the center of the spindle to the center of the laser. Uh, it's three inches and it's exactly in line from a Y perspective. So I shouldn't in theory have to move at all in a Y direction. Um, but I would want to move it in an X direction uh, by that three inches. And again, because it's offset to the left, I believe I need to move in a uh, negative direction by three inches. The big question I had is, I don't know if this, this is going to move in inches because my machine is set up in inches. Not real sure. So we'll, we will test that out here um, live on camera, so to say. Let me, I think that's all I need to do from Mach 3's perspective to get that ready. All right, so what we're going to do uh, now is we're just going to kind of get a center point here on our board. And I believe this is a 12 by 12. And we're just going to kind of draw a line across it to get the, the starting point for our project. All right, so we are going to call that center. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this piece mounted. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. What's that about, Derry? I don't know, Derry. That's a pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff, Derry. I know it. I know what you're talking about there, Harv. That's a, that's a pretty crazy stuff, I tell you. Yes, sir. -y, bub. Yes, sir. -y, bub. All right. We are going to uh, use our grid that was drawn by the machine to square this material up and get it positioned. So if you're wondering where uh, where these clamps, clamp design came from, uh, you can check out uh, CNC Nuts channel. Uh, I did modify them to make some different length clamps basically to work on my table. I started out with just uh, a piece of, I don't know, whatever kind of plastic this is. Uh, that they had at one, one of the woodworking shows I went to, they had kind of off-cut scraps and they were dirt cheap. So I don't know, I probably paid maybe 50 cents or a dollar at most for this. And so I picked up, I think four or five of them and I used those and laid out these clamps and cut them out. But if you want the original plan I started from, uh, just go to CNC Nuts channel and you will, you'll find those. You'll see it, it bows. Once I let these clamps off, this will come back to its original shape. So they work perfectly. They, they don't stay in that, that shape, but you can tell I'm putting some decent clamping power on that. We got our pendant going. Absolutely love it. Of course, once again, I have to take my glasses off so I can see that real clear. All right, so... You might want to be in close for this, huh? That looks pretty sharp. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing now. Okay, so now we're just dialing this in on that spot. I know you're probably having a hard time seeing that, but obviously looking at it from an angle that the camera's at, it might not pick it up as good. Looking at it from the top, that is, that's dead accurate, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on my laser zero button. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. It moved it exactly left three inches. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna bring the Z down so we can get a closer view of how, how that works. All right, obviously I got a close view. You can't see anything. All right, so hopefully you're able to see that. That is as accurate as I've ever seen it. I mean, as accurate as I'm able to get it by sight. 
and now I can use any size cutter I want and all I have to do is line that laser up on where I need to start and I can change bits all day long. Line it up and I'm good to go. So that is awesome. I love it. So I can turn my laser off because I don't need that on anymore. That was a simple coding project, if you want to call it that, a little script. And I will, I'll, I'll include a, the script out on my website, uh, hangingwithharv.com. Blog article that I'm going to write on this on my website, I'll include the, the code for that in case you weren't able to see it. But that's pretty much it. Let me put the camera back. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully... Uh, you like this little project? Uh, it's something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. It's a battery holder, a, a micro on off switch, and a laser that I got off of Amazon. Wired those three things together, a little bit of double stick tape, and my, my motor mount design. And basically, I've got a laser that I can turn on, accurately find the center of my project, and click a button on Mach 3, and it dials it in just like that. That's gonna do it for this project. Once again, thanks for hanging with Harv.